pick up foundation so we can start. Hello, welcome to my pitiful channel. If you didn't know, I cloned myself 10 years ago. Best decision I ever made. And in this episode, I'm going to use my Lorac Pro Palette. This is brand new, Fairy Tale Forest. And you're going to, she's going to use the Diamond Palette, also from Lorac. That's the theme of this video. The theme is to use new to time. use two different palettes on practically the same person. I'm gonna use this sample of Giorgio Armani foundation. And this is in 5.5 on the beautiful window. I guess this kind of reminds me. You should definitely talk, it's really revealing. Oh. I'm just gonna do voiceover. <laughs> I mean, you could do all the voiceovers, but then you'd have to dub my voice too. And your voice. All right, I'm starting with Ounce. This is like, why does this look not look good on me? What is it? This concealer, it looks very tan on me. I don't know what concealer you put on. <sighs> Luminous Silk Multi-Purpose Glow Concealer, Giorgio Armani. And I will- Shiny? Orange. Well, it's shiny because oh. it's still like wet from the beauty blender. I think it's also just shiny. Nothing new. I am not blending it into my neck. I think we know this by now. I can't be bothered. What a sad, beautiful, tragic, beautiful, magic. What are you doing? Doing this smoky eye look that I saw on TikTok. Did I tell you guys I'm TikTok famous? So I'm taking exclusive. Are you TikTok famous? I didn't yeah, know. I'm practically a celebrity on TikTok. I had no idea. Practically a celebrity. That's it. I'm just doing foundation. I'm going to go into powder. No, I have to finish my whole face. I uh, just watched the season two of Witcher. I think we can put some spoilers in here. What spoilers would you like to share? The ending. No, it's not over. There's going to be a season three. So what would you like to share about it? Oh, it was good. That's it? That's all you have to say? It was good. I liked it. What are you doing now? <laughs> oh my god. Am I boring you? <laughs> the whole point of having a co-host is to talk about banter. Well, what do you talk about? Hot topics? I don't even know hot topics. Yeah, I believe in hot topics. Um, the Witcher coming out is a hot topic. The Witcher is a fantastic show if you have not heard of it. But is it going to end well? The season two or the series? The series, that's my, I can't watch a show now. No, unless, okay, well, I first of all, no one really well. watches, so, no one really watches your videos, so we can talk about oh, it. Oh, yeah, for sure. Spoilers okay, so if you don't want to, if you don't want to know how season two went, then don't watch the rest of this video. Anyway, no, I've already complained about the series. I feel like a series if you don't starts, know what The Witcher is, it's on Netflix, and it's a series about, it's a supernatural series about, like, a witcher Wiz is a person who hunts down monsters because 
Five worlds collided. One was full of monsters. One was full of humans. One was full of elves. I don't know who was on the other ones, but basically the worlds collided. So the monsters came to the human world. And so the witchers were created to fight the monsters. So that is what a witcher is. That's what a witcher is. Anyway, so how did I feel about season two? Well, I'll tell you. So I feel like a good series starts with like showing you like a big picture. Like it shows you everyone's storyline that's going to be a main character in the series. And I felt like season one did a really good job, but they kept all of the characters separate. So Cirilla was separate from the Witcher, who was separate from Yennefer, who was separate from... Who else is the lead character? Gerald. Then what's the Witcher? The storyteller? Um, I guess those are the main characters. Well, I guess you could say the Brotherhood is a whole character of itself. Yeah, what is it, like Agamemnon? No, uh, Nilfgaard is a character. Anyway, so season two is basically like, season one is you're introduced to all the different characters separately in their own universes. And then season two, they all like started colliding. So the Witcher finally met, is it in season two? Yeah, right? I know, maybe I'm thinking season one. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. The point is, I feel like they ruined the future of Witcher because they basically combined every single character's storyline right now. Well, you had Yennefer meeting Witcher basically in like episode four of the first season. Yeah, but they combined all of the characters right now. So it's like their storylines are overlapping. Like, well, yeah, Siri. Okay, is anyone else bothered by the fact that her name is Siri? I'm gonna put this transition shade on my eye, somewhere on my eye. Well, the problem is it's gonna be really boring now because what do you do? Like, do you separate all of them again and then they each have their own storylines again? Or Well, it's like we in gonna... The Walking Dead when they, whenever the it's story like they gets- run out of storyline. No, whenever it gets really dull, like things are going too well at the prison, they just have either a group of people come in and trash the place or they have a herd of walkers come in. So yeah, they're gonna have to do something like that. They're gonna have to introduce new people, which they introduced, spoiler alert, the very last episode, we find out that the series King dad, Nilfgaard is Ciri's dad. Okay, which is kind of weird everything. because Ciri's dad was supposed to have died when she was a baby. Not only that, but they make it, like, they make the whole Was he in prison? Guard. Maybe he's been in prison this whole time. No, his ship sank. That's the storyline. Yeah, it says ship sank. And the, problem, I guess... the problem is, is that he's, We're like, thinking his, that... he's trying to get Siri, but, like, you could have just sent a letter. That's no, what but what I think what we're supposed to believe is that he's been in prison. That his ship was sunk. And he was, like, in prison. And he's been in prison. That doesn't make any sense. Why kill the grandmother? Yeah. Why, also, why hire all of those people? Why try to take on the Northern Kingdoms just Beautiful. to get your daughter back? Like, she would be there willingly. Like My theory is he doesn't want the daughter back. My theory, My theory is he wants he's powder. probably Pow possessed. Powder. Yeah, he wants powder. Because sometimes they're possessed. He wants power. And then the other thing that they never solved was... You know, he uses, like, that, gold color. The guy that transforms himself into other people, he can still transform into the general. He still has his, like, identity. So. Oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah. They never ended that storyline. No, they just had him running off. I can't even see that. Amelia! Amelia! I'm like kind of over a Siri being a damsel in distress, too. What I think they should do is they should just. The next one, have Siri go off and train with the Witcher and with Yennefer. 
and then just say like three years later and she's already a mage i don't want to see her grow up i, I think say, that I think gerald and see three years i think later. Anyway, the problem is, is like, what's the storyline going to be? Like, who, what monsters are they going to be fighting? Like, what's going to be the ending now? Gerald and Yennefer are the stars of the series. Yeah, and they're already together right now. So they need to either separate them, get one trapped in another universe, and that way they're separate. Yennefer has been trapped, okay? She needs to be free. We can't build every storyline about Yennefer going off the rails again. What is this collection? I'm, I got my brush a little damp. So it would pick up more product. This is pink. I didn't know it was pink. It doesn't look pink in the pan. I should probably do my eyebrows. What a sad, beautiful trash. Do you like Taylor Swift? No, guys, I don't. And I'm, I'll give you a dissertation on why. No, I feel like at some point in every celebrity's career, it's that they just start doing things for money and not for anything else. Do I like her music? Yes, I like her music. But do I think that like overpricing her um, stuff on her website is absurd? Yeah, and she's checking need out the money. overpriced merch. She doesn't need the money from that merchandise. Whatever happened to when she was, like, giving her albums away for free? I know, like, mailing gifts to her friend, like, not friends, I don't know. Mailing gifts to... But then you know, too, like, when, when she has another concert, it's gonna be just, like, the Adele thing, where all of the tickets are purchased by scalpers. I don't know, I wouldn't purchase any tickets. It just seems like a... It, Seems like they just want to take advantage of you, and by they, I just mean like the industry is just want to take advantage of people right now and overprice things. I think when we all had a stimulus check, it was fine if they wanted to charge us a lot of money for stuff, but now we're all broke, so that brush is gonna work. You just read the Twilight book. Yeah, I read the Midnight Sun book. What did you think of that? Um, it wasn't very good. <laughs> this is just a video of all the things I don't like. And then people are gonna come it had and make to be and said. Your makeup is awful. Your personality is awful. No, these are all my friends. We can trust these people. Well, yeah, but it's, again, it's not like I dislike anyone or dislike anything. I just disliked the book. It wasn't very good. That's fine. I didn't give a lot of answers. Okay, so like a big a big question in Twilight is like, how come Jasper attacks um, Bella when he never attacked anyone at school? In the second book, over a drop of blood, but when he's in the dance studio at the end of the first movie, he doesn't kill her. Yeah, so it's like, he attacks her in New Moon. How is Jasper so drawn to blood? I need a darker color. Do you have like a dark brown? I don't know, you're limited to your palette. Let me see. Anyways, the whole reason Edward leaves in the second book is because Jasper tries to attack her at her birthday party. And so they, Edward's like, okay, I'm a threat. Like, We're I'm talking about the book New Moon. Edward's like, okay, I'm... Bella's life is in danger, like, I must finally leave her, I need to do that. And Midnight Sun, the Edward version of Twilight, it doesn't really give you, um, it tells you a little bit that the reason why he leaves in the second book is because 
he decides after the first book that he wants to leave. Does that make any sense? So he was like already one foot out of that relationship? He decided at the end of Midnight Sun that he needed that you mean he Twilight to... because Twilight came right before okay Twilight. yes well Midnight Sun is Twilight okay so so Edward actually decides that day when he endangered her life and she's in the hospital after James comes to try to kill her that's when he decides to leave her so he didn't decide after the birthday party he actually decided he actually decides after James attacks her that's the only like fill in the gap but um yeah just it's not it's just isn't not that good if you've already read Twilight and didn't have like a bunch of backstories I really wanted to have like a bunch of backstory I wanted to talk about um like Edward's hundred years like what was he doing during the hundred years and it really only shares like a few stories so I need to eyelash glue so nothing happened you missed absolutely nothing I'm turning into Freddy from the UK I'm turning into a pretty pretty princess. I don't know what I'm doing. I was just doing that TikTok thing, but I don't really think it works for me, so. Hashtag said everyone. How does it look without, how does it look doing that way? It looks a little sharp. The line right there is a little sharp. Yeah, so. Just leave these. I'm putting on these boring old Ardell's that I got discounted at Ulta and then they fell apart. Probably why they were on discount at Ulta. What is do you have any dark concealer? I do. Yeah, there's this. I mean, this is a dark concealer. dark concealer. This is really dark. No, it's orange. I don't know. Really There's also this. Um, that would work. Made. Madison. I cannot see. For yourself, you will try to what do you want to be when you get older next question it's crazy you can still be whatever you want like now like you know when we were kids and you when you picked one career yeah i was reading about that now like it's called a second career or a i don't know exactly what it's called renaissance life yeah, is it called like the a half, renaissance half career or something? I don't know. Basically, the idea is that adults towards the age of 30, 40, 50 are deciding like that they're unhappy in their career field. So they take on a second career, like even going completely back to school, starting from zero. Well, yeah, life's too long to be one thing. I like a brush for bronzer and then I'll just need a stain got it I'm trying to fix my eyelashes that look awful this is why I never wear eyelashes because literally it's so hard but I would say if you're 18 to 25 right now just do anything it doesn't matter just get a degree in something do something because when you're 30 and 40, you can always do something else. Which I'm gonna think for. I'm almost done, so. Really? I'm not even nowhere near done. <sighs> yeah, I'm almost done. Yeah. 
pink blush. And I can't even tell if it's coming together because I don't have glasses on. It will be a fun surprise at the end. But you can always just fast forward the video and put music over it. Why I kind of like talking. I'm really looking forward to, you know, getting. I'm gonna use this orange and red mix together. So I don't know if Amy's talked about it, but she's planning a movie, and that's exciting for me because I live <laughs> live closer. <laughs> You know what, guys? It's blush for a holiday party, so it's whatever. It's whatever. I don't feel like there's anything I could talk about that wouldn't be like a controversial topic. Yeah, we're like Switzerland. You can't talk about we're like super neutral over here. Yeah, you can't talk about like going outside because then you gotta talk about like COVID tests. You can't talk about. In fact, you can't even, we're going to have to edit that word out because cause you can't say it. And you don't even say it now. Not without getting like one of those demonetized warnings. Misinformation. You don't want to try I'll it. say that some of the posts I've made on Facebook have been flagged for misinformation. When questionable whether they are. Anyways, um, I guess I'll use this. No, I need like a dark bronzer. I need like a lighter bronzer. Yeah, this bronzer is amazing. Yeah, it's weird because all you posted online was that I'm the greatest of all time, and I was pretty sure that was undebatable. Okay, so I saw this lady put a dot of bronzer right here. Why would I want that? She said it's like under your cheek where you can touch your teeth. So I guess here. And then you just blend that in. So it's on this side. And then we'll just blend that in. And she said just keep your beauty blender in one spot. And give yourself a root canal. There, and that's supposed to be it. Do you like it? What's that from? TikTok? I can't see. You should. Supposedly, it's supposed to make your bronzer look good from the side. Wait, what is it? Front. Inside I missed it. Fun. So you just put one dot. One, <laughs> one just spot. Just rewatch the video. Okay. Yeah, if you want makeup tips, you're gonna have to subscribe to my channel. Me? I already am subscribed. <laughs> subscribed with all. <laughs> all two accounts. How many? No, how many? One thousand thirty. <laughs> Yeah, you created 1,130 really 1, accounts. accounts. Guys, if you would like me to follow you, I will follow with you. 1, with 1,137. With all 1,000 accounts. So generous. You're welcome. Do you like to sing? I sing all the time. I sing every day. Nothing's coming up. Why is this not coming up? Let me check my glasses. How I feel. It's not bad. It's a little like pale. What? Isn't like how I'd want to look at a party. That sucks because the guests are coming. How do I fix this? 
Oh, I feel like... Is it my eyes? It's my face. Is it me? Is it me? Maybe I Am just need a whole I? new face. Maybe it's me. I guess if I just got a whole new face, I'd probably be okay. It's not that... Okay, I'm just a fine actor. I'm call it that. I think for a new face, I'll choose... Do you have eyelash glue? Right here. Yeah. I just bought I'm some eyelash glue. I'm almost done. I literally just need to put... It's just to dry on, really fast. Done. Oh, really? I'm not even... Lip close. Hello. I yes, should have I'm done going a darker in with my samples again. Foundation. Oh, this is goopy. Does this work? What? This this work? Yeah. Just don't wipe it off. Here. I need a brush to apply all it. Where'd that little baby brush go? Oh, you know what? I could just do it over there. Yeah, it's over there. I'm just gonna do a red lip. Because why not? There's. Rouge. I guess I'll do that one. And then we're done. We're gonna sign off this video. So, if you have any, oh, I have to do my lips. Are we gonna come back? I'll just explain what I did. Um, I was thinking if you had anything to promote. Oh, I don't have anything to promote. I'm working on a um. Promoting promote the career. well being of the world. No. Yeah, same. I'm gonna work on a comedy career. If you could have anyone's comedy career, who will go go If I could have anyone's career, let's see, I would probably love to have. And you have to take their whole career too, the bad films and the Yeah, good I films. don't know. I don't have an answer. You know Go on, Manny. Oh my god, I cannot put lipstick on myself. So if people want to subscribe to you, where should they go? Go to your channel. If you'd like to see me again, just go to Amy's channel and comment down below. Yeah. I didn't know. I pulled this. Alright, that's it. Nice. I'm done. You, you didn't beat the clock this time. You will have to try again. I didn't put any highlighter on. Like I said, you did not beat the clock. I have the clock. <laughs> You'll have to try again. Maybe well, in 2022. Hold on, let me come back with a while. All right, that's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Going for like a Veronica Lake look. So we're back. Not like we really went anywhere. Is this the camera? Yeah. Okay, I'll stay there. Start over. And we're back. Not that we really went anywhere. This is the outro. So, please don't forget to subscribe. Okay. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe down below and let us know if you want to see me get another video. Yeah. Bye. Bye, guys. Again. Why does your face have this white beam right here? Yeah, I know. I look awful. under the eye. To be honest, I look really bad. My face looks much paler. I don't think I ever wear foundation this late.
Not like I look that great. I mean, I look amazing. Tried. Tried. Happy holidays to everyone watching. Merry I hope Christmas. you have a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Do something nice Christmas. for yourself, even if it's just going to McDonald's. I did that one Christmas. Yeah, because KFC was closed. Yeah, but I love McDonald's, so. I love KFC. I don't know why they just don't stay I love, open for Christmas. I used to love getting the Big Mac with, like, a um, smoothie. Shake. Shake, 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 shake. All right, bye. I have to leave now because it's a 4K camera and it really makes me insecure. Also, did you notice I only talk with one side of my mouth? I noticed a lot of things about myself in this video that I never want to see again. Just to erase my face. Just right. Photoshop me out.